Uh, here's Defense Secretary uh, Donald Rumsfeld, former Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld. Uh, and this is Brigadier General Janice Karpinski. She was supposed to be in charge of, of that unit. She never visited it. That's one of the reasons some of those abuses occurred. And they want to know who are the bad apples, who's responsible for those abuses. The problem is if you frame the question of who is responsible, there's only one answer, it's people. I want to frame the question a different way. Can we raise the sound? If you ask the question, what is to blame, it could be people, but it could be something more. And obviously, the something more is my, what I'm going to present as a social psychologist is what is to blame we're going to see is the situation that corrupted those young men and women uh, uh, military policemen. So how do psychologists go about trying to understand the psychological dynamics of such transformations of human character? Well, if they were always bad, it's not a transformation. They were bad and they did bad. I'm arguing, let's assume for the sake of argument, that they start off as good, and suddenly, in a short time, they're doing these kinds of things, and worse. The traditional way that psychologists explain any human behavior, that most psychologists, all psychiatrists, uh, clinical psychologists, people in assessment, cognitive psychologists, is the same as in religion, is the same as in medicine. We look for pathologies in the person, within the person, with defective character structure, sadistic personalities, the bad apples. Social psychologists and other social scientists say, it, of course, individuals are always the actors, but we have to understand the stage. We have to understand the behavioral context. We have to understand who's the stage director. We have to understand whether the behavior is alone or in an ensemble, whether it's Im improvised or scripted. So here it says maybe there were good men and women corrupted by the behavioral context, and we're going to talk about what that really means, by powerful situational forces, and that's where the bad barrel comes in. One of the things I did in, in going through these investigative reports is I moved beyond, I, my focus was always just on the situation. I began to ask the question about what is the system that creates those situations? And the system is the legal, historical, cultural, economic forces that maintain such situations. Uh, and this is where the real power is. So here's the power. The power creates those, and then this is a secondary power that, that uh, can uh, corrupt good people. So the Lucifer effect involves understanding human character transformation when ordinary good people become perpetrators of evil. And it's through the interplay of these three forces, things that people bring into the situation, things that the situation brings out of people, how they interact, the person in the situation, and in fact, then we have to understand those in dominant systems that create and maintain those situations. Here's a wonderful cartoon, a recent New Yorker cartoon. I'm neither a good cop nor a bad cop, Jerome. Like yourself, I'm a complex al am amalgam of positive and negative personality traits that emerge or not, depending on circumstances. So this is really what my talk is going to be all about. <laughs> 